Hello, how's everyone doing today? Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to speak to you about some of the stuff it is that I do in my classroom, and I'm going to try and kind of um, uh, relate it to uh, the broader um, philosophy that I kind of work under. Uh, my name is Reggie. Um, I'm here from uh, Florida. Um, I'm visiting London. Uh, I'm originally from London, um, and I haven't been here for 20 years. Well, I've never been to Leicester, but I haven't been to London for 20 years. And I'm just visiting some family. And uh, while I'm here, me and some colleagues, uh, some colleagues and I, we, we started up a teach meet in Tallahassee. Uh, teach meet's not very big in the US, but we started one in Tallahassee, and, and we're very excited about it. And I'm excited to be here. Okay, So um, we're going to start out with a, a video that um, kind of explains some of the stuff it is that I do in my class classes. Hold on. Whoops. My name is Reggie Grant. I teach media production at Lincoln High School in Tallahassee, Florida. I believe students learn best when they create, and media production is a perfect vehicle to help students learn any concept. My advanced students produce videos to help enhance their learning in other subjects. Here, the student shows how to use various forms of the past participle of the verb être to be. It is for her French class. The assignment originally required students to type a poem. Another student produced a video that shows the effect that humans have on various biomes. It was for her environmental science class. Last year, my advanced students produced videos to teach the proper usage of commonly misused words, such as two, two and two, and its and its. Projects like these tap into students' creativity and increases motivation and engagement. As a result, I think students learn better. The media production process promotes organization, planning, and problem solving, all important life skills. It also helps develop literacy and communication skills. This year, students in advanced media production have commenced with a media production class in Michigan. Both classes have held at Pew Google Hangouts and communicated about various projects. The students will have the opportunity to evaluate and provide feedback on each other's work. Even though the media production process can be challenging, we don't forget to have fun. When you have fun, learning becomes that much easier. So anyway, that's, that's uh, kind of some of the stuff it is that I, um, we do. Um, <clears throat> as I say, uh, like writing, um, getting students to write, I find lots of students don't enjoy writing. Um, but if you can kind of, you know, kind of backdoor it, kind of so you're like, um, okay, well, you want to do a music video. Well, before you go out and do a music video, you have to be able to do certain things. And you ask some questions about it. Well, what are you going to do? Then uh, eventually you might be able to get them to do what it is that they need to do. Um, uh, as I mentioned, kind of planning is one of the, one of the very important things to do. And this is kind of the, the population of, of stuff. Um, we've done some graphic design, um, some video production, and uh, stuff like that. And um, <clears throat> a, lot of the, a, lot, a lot of the media stuff that, that um, for instance, the book that, we, um, that the, the other presenter talked about, a, a lot of that kind of works into it. You know, you can get students to um, help with fluency, um, with talking, um, you know, presentations and that kind of thing. Um, one of the things that I find is that, you know, students, you can get students to do more stuff, uh, especially students love to talk about themselves. So anytime it is that you can get students to even uh, design like a, a loosely based uh, project about themselves, um, they're really all about that. Um, uh, one of the things that employers tell us as well, um, uh, students coming out of school, they say, well, students can't think, you know, I mean, you can't give them a problem that they can, you know, they can uh, work all the way through. So I think that um, one of the things I love about media production is it really promotes um, problem solving. Um, and, uh, you know, you just kind of have to give them something and just kind of nudge them along the way. Usually I allow them to do kind of what it is that they want to do. Um, and I think that that's very important to kind of get them to buy into it. Um, and then from there, you just kind of, you know, kind of just kind of help them along. 
Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks very much. <laughs>